Hey guys, this is Dandy from musicmarketing.ca and we're going to go through a tutorial on how to record on FL Studio 10. So check this out. We're going to have to right click or record button and you'll see three different modes. Uh, the fourth one doesn't really matter. Uh, we have automation, score, and audio. And um, so I'm going to start off with automation and I'm going to try and take this guitar line and make it humanized that's that's my goal for this automation record right now so take a listen to uh, this guitar line and uh, let's try and make this sound real Okay, so with automation, it's going to record all of uh, the information on my MIDI keyboard here. In this case, I'm using my pitch bend. I'm gonna just basically add some vibrato to my my guitar lines. Okay, so I'm just gonna press record. Make sure uh, my pre count is on. Three, two, one, and uh, pretty much ready to go. Alright, so that sounds pretty good to me. Um, notice I had to scroll a bit. With this button on, it just scrolls for me when it gets to the last bar. Just some few, few helpful buttons here for recording. Okay, so I'm going to show you now what it looks like when I record the pitch. So the higher this pink color goes, uh, the more the pitch bends. Let's check this out. If there's a certain thing that you didn't like that you recorded, you can always punch in. Just put your uh, mouse to the timeline where you messed up or want to change and just hit record again. It should replace it. It should replace the values. Alright, so now I'm going to move on to um, the score recording mode. And what this does is it basically takes all the information on my MIDI keyboard by note value um, so that's just basically if I press any of the keys alright so now in order to do this uh, I'm gonna have my pre count on my my metronome on and I'm just gonna press play well record and play of course here we go Okay, so now notice I have my recordings on, well my snap is on none, and so when I record it, it doesn't automatically quantize. Uh, you can fix the unsynced or untiming notes just by, I uh, just want to highlight all of these right here, and then uh, you're going to click this small wrench looking icon, and then quick quantize, uh, either the first one or by the start times. Now I didn't do anything because my snap was on nothing. Uh, now I'm going to try this again. Oops, get that. And there we go. Quick quantize by start times. And it just moved it closer to the, to the lines. Um, a few notes are kind of ahead. I'm going to switch this. I'm going to fix those notes right there. Okay, moving on to uh, the audio recording mode now. And just right click, and I'm gonna hit audio. Actually, I'm gonna unclick score and then hit audio. So I'm just only doing that, but you can do all three. See, but I'm just gonna leave it to audio. And uh, now, what this does, it just takes uh, my microphone input. Now, in order to do this, we need to go to we need to change our input device. Right now, I'm on my baby face. I'm gonna switch this to my. Creative Emu 0404 right at the bottom. 
you also have to have it under the ACO drivers or ACO devices category and uh, yep now I'm set I have my microphone set to uh, input one or a whichever I got my phantom power on as well now mind you you're not going to hear the recording um, into FL Studio because I'm using my Fireface to record the video and my emu to record what's going into FL Studio but at least I can show you so it proves it that it works okay so the first thing that we need to do now this has to be in order well not in order but this has to happen um, you can select up to 99 channels to record at the same time but in this case we're just going to use one just pick 15 here and now we're going to go into our input top right I'm going to select my microphone which is A and I'm going to make sure it's armed and it is, it's just automatic so as I tap this uh, microphone you can see that it's working if you find that you have problems um, recording in Apple Studio just make sure you right click the recording button and check which, uh, which mode you're in well I'm Dan D from musicmarketing.ca and this was my tutorial on, on how to record on FL Studio 10 and I'll catch you guys in the next episode see ya